The American League Central takes on the West. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Texas Rangers. The MLB here on 2K Sports. Arlington, Texas is the site, and it's the home of the Rangers. Rich Harden, when he is on, there won't be many hits on the board. He'll make the start. 2K Sports presents our MLB broadcast. So great to have you with us. First month of the season coming to a close. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, as a manager, when you send Rich Harden out to the mound, he makes it very tough because you know he's either going to have it early or he's not. You might have to get him out of the game. When he's locked in, he can put away a lineup. When he's not, he's behind in the count and can get in trouble. So the manager may have to make a quick decision in this game. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. And for sudden expanding as we get ready for the first pitch. Left fielder, number 24, Scott Hudson. Harden with the windup. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And Hamilton's going to play it. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. Now we'll take a quick look at the Rangers, see where they are positionally. Are you keeping an eye on anyone? Well, Elvis Andrews is one of the more exciting defensive players in the game today. This kid has a hose of an arm, and he has great range to run the ball down, up the middle or in the hole. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. Starting off the three-game set on the right foot, we'll see how they do. This is second of three against the Rangers. Anytime you have a long winning streak like these guys have, you have to be able to win on the road. And these guys are tearing it up away from home. First base. And it's Paul Canerco now. Base is empty and two down. Nice shatters his bat, a line drive. And the throw, he's on board way ahead of that play. Well, two quick outs in the inning. You think maybe this is one of those quick innings and the other team gets in and they get some momentum. But he keeps the inning alive with that base hit. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Smash towards the middle. In time for the up. Good work there, Rich Harden. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing. We'll take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. Stevie faces this Texas lineup today. What's his focus? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead on the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. Cutter just misses, 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 oh now. Oh. That one fouled off by Kinsler. Ooh, that one is just outside the zone, and it's two and one. He's ready in Washburn, the two one. And it goes oh. foul. He delivers, swing and lined up the middle, and it falls in. Hitting streak continues. Brought to you by Pepsi. Here's how the Rangers will line up on offense. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, anytime you're managing a guy like Ian Kinsler, you are just tickled to death to be able to pencil his name in the lineup every single day. He's a complete package of a hitter. Power, speed, hits for average. He can hit a lot of doubles, but the one thing he has a knack for is crossing home plate. It's what you love with someone at the top of your order. It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. Well, climbing the ladder with that four-seam fastball, trying to get back up the middle. In time for the out. There's the throw. Now a quick look for this game with the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. So, Steve, any individual standout? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive play. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. Out, Kinsler going towards third. 
Certainly, uh, that home team advantage for the Rangers it may have something to do with the weather. They won 48 games at home. Just a tough place to play, especially in the middle of summer. A great hitter's ballpark and a great place that these guys, once they started figuring out they had some good starting pitching, they started winning at home. And you said that weather can wilt some people down there in a short series. Well, John, you hit it right on the head. It's the pitching that's different. I mean, it's always been a hitter's ballpark. Mediocre hitters become good hitters in Texas. It's the pitching that was the key that really has turned their fate around and maybe the future of their franchise around. And that'll retire the side caught by Rios. They get a man to third but can't bring him home. Nobody's put one on the board yet here in Texas. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Harden with a windup. Look out as that one runs in and hits it. Now sometimes that fastball just runs in on you. You can't get out of the way. He couldn't get out of the way there. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. Now, Gary, as we saw that hitter get hit with the pitch right there, it's just a mechanical issue. He'll get that ironed out a little bit, but I don't think it's intentional, certainly. Deep right. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. And fans, look out for next Tuesday. We'll be at Fenway Park to watch the Boston Red Sox. They play host to the Los Angeles Angels. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. It's going to be Brzezinski. Well, he had a contribution last night offensively as he drove in a couple of runs. And it's fouled off. Harden with the windup line towards first and Davis pulls it in and they just try to hold him there at first. Now first base can be the hot corner too and that was a hot shot to first but he was able to get up and spear it for the out. And here's Martian in the top ten and hits. There's a swing line drive center field and that'll put Tien on first. Well, we've got a moment to look back to last year's Chicago White Sox and see how they ranked. Sixth in home runs, sixth in stolen bases, and they were in the top ten in team batting average with runners in scoring position, getting a lot of clutch base hits, and that's a great stat. Liner between first and second, and that ends the half inning as Davis makes the play. Michael Young at the plate. Third base. Number ten, Michael Young. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. And he leaves that one alone. Michael Young with good patience, evening the count. Washburn set and delivers. Young makes contact, fouled off. And the one two delivery from Washburn fielded by Ramirez the young is retired. Let's take a look where the Texas Rangers ended up rank wise last year in the American League second in home runs second in stolen bases and an offense that can slug the ball not settling for singles. They go up there looking to drive it third in the league in slugging percentage and Chris Davis to bat. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. And you could throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement, it could be very effective. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Oh. Davis making contact, but he'll foul that one away. Tries to ring him up with the fastball away, but it's one and two. That is in there, and Chris Davis caught looking for strike three. A good two strike fastball in on his hand. He couldn't pull the trigger. In the batter's box, Salta Lamacchio. Oh. 
to get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. Here's Washburn, 1-0 pitch. Ball two. Cutter just off the black, and he falls behind 2-0. Here's the pitch. And he takes a fastball for a strike. Two and one. Now that he's elevated his eyes looking for that high fastball, let's see if he goes back down in the zone. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. Nobody's put one on the board yet here in Texas. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. He's hoping for that offense to come alive sooner than later. The first pitch. Ground ball to Davis. And he'll step on first for out number one. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And Alexi Ramirez is a guy who can do a lot of things offensively. Kind of like an Alfonso Soriano guy. Guy who can hit the ball out of the ballpark, but he can also hit for a high average. Swung on and ripped towards second. Yeah. Two away. Let's take a look at some of the rankings in the American League and really where the Rangers sit right now. Second in stolen bases, third in walks, and a pitching staff that has power stuff that can hit their spots, showing they can get it done. Top five ranking in strikeouts. Power arms on this staff. Harden gets him to swing and misses. That'll be a strike. But you got to be a little more patient. Wait for that thing to get in the hitting zone before you try to swing. Way too early on that one. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. Swung and a fly ball. How about the catch by the fan in the stands right there? Boy, he just went into his uh, fan crowd there and snagged that baby away. It was a great play. He should have seen it. He had his eyes shut. Swing, hot shot, and Canerco's got himself a single. And that's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Although it's still early on in the new baseball season for the White Sox, let's take a look where they sit in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners, this lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient, they let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Leading the MLB in batting average. First pitch to Quinton. Swing and a miss on a pitch that's in the dirt. Did not look good on that cut. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary. Really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Throw on to second base. Force play. Side retired. No run. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Kruk and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. David Murphy leading it off. Oh. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Now Przinsky positions himself. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And that will set down Murphy. That's one away. Oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. That's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And Borbone settles in. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. Play is made. Team leaders in home runs. How'd they do it last year? Well, let's take a look at our State Farm leaderboard. The Yankees, number one. Second, the Rangers. Third spot, the Red Sox. Fourth, the Jays. And at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, this team lives and die with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark, and they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power and depth throughout this lineup that every one of these guys can hurt you. Kensler gets good wood on it. And that one is in there, his second hit today. And that'll bring uh, Elvis Andres to the plate. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been a line drive towards short. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. Getting it done once again, Jared Washburn. 
And Beckham's in the box. Always good coming off a three-hit game the night before. and Gives you some confidence coming into today's game. Hard ground at a short. One away. One out. And Alex Rios at the plate. And he starts Rios out. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. It's back towards the wall, and he still puts it away. It's going to be Brzezinski. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Harden with a windup. Now swinging and a shot towards second. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Well, that's one way to keep it. On camera shot there of Ron Washington. He's brought some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though. Important now to get the offense stinging. And Josh Hamilton up. And he gets a walk a lot. The American League has him in the top five. That one fouled off by Hamilton. Swings for a strike on the fastball. It'll be a one-two count. Well, they've got a couple hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they maybe they're starting to get something going. And the second time through the lineup, maybe they'll try to figure something out here. And that gets down. Hamilton on it first. Now coming to back. So that brings up Nelson three. Cruz. Right Here's what the White Sox Number schedule 17. looks like. They wrap Nelson up this Texas Cruz. series tomorrow. And it's a road trip to take on the Yankees and the fan favorite Alex Rodriguez. They'll also sit at the top of their division. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They look to tip the balance against a team that looks pretty even against them on paper. The Kansas City Royals. Runner on first base, nobody out. Here's the first pitch to Cruz. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. 0 for 3. That was last season off Washburn. And here's the pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. One away. Well, they followed the advanced scouting reports to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. And Michael Young at the plate with a runner on first. Well, if, if there's one thing that Michael Young would like to improve on in 2010, it's the fact that he only stole eight stolen bases. This is a guy who can steal 15 to 20 bases and create runs with his legs. But again, he, he had some injuries. He only stole the eight bases, but that, that will improve in 2010. So they can't make the play. But Gary's to make the error right there, you just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at one and two. Michael Young spent most of the 09 season in and around the top 10 batting average in the American League, finishing up at 322. Well, yeah, I mean, every year you look at the final statistics, you can look for Michael Young to be in that top 10 in batting average. He's such a great discipline hitter, and I love the fact that with two strikes, he will shorten up and take what the pitcher gives him and just hit a base hit to right field instead of trying to continue to hit the ball out of the ballpark. And Chris Davis to bat. Last year, his number... 263 against the White Sox. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strike. And Davis with a swing and a miss with a strike, and the count is now even. Davis making contact, but he'll foul that one away. And the one two delivery from Washburn. That is in there, and Chris Davis caught looking for strike three. So Jared Washburn holding those runs down. He's been shutting them out through four. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. And one of the top ten averages right now. Splitter swung on and missed 0-1. He's getting it done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to count on. Swung on. That one put in play. It goes towards Cruz. That's one down. Now a look at these standings in the Western Division as we get through the first month of the season. It's brought to you by State Farm. It's the Angels in first. The Mariners, second place. In third, the Rangers. 
And in the fourth spot, the A's. And Mark Kotze up. Four at bats last year. He came away empty handed against the Rangers in Texas. Harden gets him to swing and misses. That'll be a strike. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And it's 0 and 2. Kotze just trying to punch one here. Uh, coming off a good ball game last night, picking up two hits in that one. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. First pitch on the way. And that one is struck. Hamilton to field. And that one falls in there for a single. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. And he's in the top echelon of hits right now. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0-1. He makes contact, line drive, and that will retire the side. Caught by Kinsler. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. In the batter's box, Santa Lamacchia. And the first pitch. And that swung on and hit. Rios. Able to make the grab on that one, one out. Here's how the Central Division race is shaping up in late April, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the White Sox. Twins in the second spot. In third place, it's the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Not a lot of expectations in Chicago this year, but the White Sox surprising everybody, sitting atop of the American League Central right now and, and building that confidence level. Swing, soft liner towards right center. And that gets down. Murphy's got a single. That brings up Julio Borbone. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit into a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. First pitch to him. Hit on the ground towards second. Over to second for one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play. Not quite enough time to get him. Here's Ian Kinsler. He's batting with two down. Batting one for five last season off Jared Washburn. Ball! And Kensler will take that one low. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out there. Two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. And in there, three for three ball game. The throw, not in time. In there at third. A moment here for Texas. Can they get it done? And we've got Andrus batting. 0 for 2 thus far. And the first pitch. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. Ready with a 1 0. Good cut fastball in there, 1 and 1. And here's the delivery. He watches the 1 1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Circle change, very tough to lay off, but it's two and two. Now the two two up the middle. That's down, the run's coming in. It's Texas offense, multiple chances here. Number 32. Well, this is exactly how you plan a game. You make sure you take advantage early in the game, get that offense going to get that run on the board. And Josh Hamilton. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. That's caught. Side is retired. Pitching clinic so far. Finally that offensive door opened with a run on the board. The Rangers lead. One to nothing. And Paul Kodarko to lead it off. He singled in his last at bat. Paul Harden with the windup. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left. Swung on. That is hit. And Kaderko's got himself a single. 
Now, That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. He's the league leader in hits. First pitch to Quinton. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. It comes off the wall in right center. That Erko is going to try and score here. And he will score. Great base running. Now batting. Though the rally the here Chicago energized Wilson. every Second new opportunity they take advantage of. Gordon Here's what that double has done. A look at our Pepsi WPA graph. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did that pays off. Strike one. And Beckham's in the box. Whoa, it is happening now. It may be a little late, but then again, they've got momentum, Steve. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And that's going to be another hit for them. And Quinton's home. Now batting. The well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. Harden with the windup. That's hit foul by Rios. And the 0-1 by Harden. Hit hard on the ground to short. One. And they get two. Great double play. 6-4-3 double play. Nice move at second base. Uh, that's a great double play. Pulling off double plays like that can really shift the momentum of the game. It's going to be Brzezinski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Harden gets him to swing and misses. That'll be a strike. Well hit towards the middle. He's Throws out. to first side is retired. They pick up two runs, three base hits, and leave the bases empty. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And we've got Cruz batting. Big things can happen anytime he steps in that batter's box. Here's the 1 0. Oh, what a drive. He smashed it. Rios will field as he hauls it in. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their back from last season. The Yankees, number one. The Red Sox, second. Third spot, the Rangers. Fourth, the Angels. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense, and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that. They seem to hit for extra bases. You know, everyone says, well, they get on second base a lot, they score runs, but also they drive in a ton of runs with all those extra base hits that they get. That's why their slugging percentage is so high and why they're so successful. Young makes contact, fouled off. Swung on and missed strike three, and Michael Young is out of there. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball in K-Camp. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Line shot into center field, and that is in there. The tying run is on base. And that will bring up Jared Salta Lamagia. Well, you know the pitcher was hoping to get that three up three down inning. A little bit of a breather inning, but that single will extend this one a bit here. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Still 0 and 2.
line towards second. That's caught. Side is retired. Jared Washburn coming off the mound. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. One for two in the ball game. Number 25, Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner to left. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Now up to the plate. Well, good Number piece of hit right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And here's Mark Kotzen. He bounced out his last time. Here's the first pitch to Kotze. Hard grounded a short. And that's a base hit. Kotze on it first. Steve, sometimes now, that pitch the down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Oh, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. Harden with the windup. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. Oh, it's fair now, to say, Gary, to they the needed that Whether out badly. Now he's got to come right back at him and get another one. Alexi They're down. Ramirez. They cannot give up more runs here this late in the game. Here's the first pitch. Oh! Ramirez will foul that one away. And the 0-1 by Harden. Swung on, liner to right. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far, let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third most in hits, fifth in doubles, and as you can see, that ability to make contact is there, hitting for a very high average, ranked among the top ten hitters in the league. Three on and one out. And he starts Canerco out. Ground ball to Davis. It's one. And two. A double play. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hits, but no run. The White Sox, two. Texas, one. David Murphy leading it off. Base hit his last time. Number 14, David Murphy. And the first pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, I think right now, when you're up by a run in the seventh inning, You've shortened the game. You've got the lead. You want to throw strikes. Do not give them any free passes and catch the ball behind your pitcher. On the ground to second. And that'll set down Murphy. And Bourbon settles in. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. One out, nobody on. Washburn set and delivers. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that'll set down Bourbon. Here's Ian Kinsler. He's batting with two down. He's a perfect three for three in the ball game. Now Kinsler gets set. That's a curveball in that first pitch, but it misses. One ball, no strikes. Well, two outs here in the seventh inning. You need to make a play behind your pitcher. He's going to pitch to contact. Somebody's got to step. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. And it's in there. The tying run on board. Well, they just can't now, figure out a way to get this guy game. out. That's now Short four time. hits Number for one. him in this game. And with a big chance, here is Elvis Andrus. Here's the first one. Swing, and that's going to be hit behind the plate. Lays off the curveball. Good pitch, though. 1 and 1. Washburn set and delivers. On the ground to first. And they will tag him out, and the side is retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Doubled home a run in his last at bat. First pitch to Quinton. 
Harden gets him to swing and misses. That'll be a strike. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game on his fourth plate appearance. Now well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning, no outs. Big things could happen now. Here is the opportunity for the youngster Gordon Beckham. A runner on first, no out. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to second. There's one. And two, they pull out the double play. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4 6 3. Uh, that's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. The pitch. He swings and drives this one. Right off the wall. Well, this pitcher was cruising along in this inning. Not a lot of difficulty so far. Loses concentration for just one second, and now a runner in scoring position. He's got to work. And the first pitch. Swing and a line to left. And that's the third up. Murphy grabs it. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And here are the Rangers, bottom half of the... And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. I'll tell you what, this is one of those decisions you can go either way. He's pitched pretty well to this point, but it is getting late. Do you want to take any chances? The manager decides to go to the pen. Hamilton gets set. Here's the delivery. Oh! That one fouled off by Hamilton. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And that gets the tying run on board. Well, what a great way to get things started. Leading off the inning with the double. Put yourself in scoring position early. Here is Nelson Cruz. Jenks with a delivery, and he holds off with the pitch low, 1-0. Oh. Okay, I think they're going to look at anything they can. If there's an inside pitch, get hit by the pitch, get on base, you're the tying oh. run. If you can, lay down a bunt for a base hit. Hit one in the gap, think about going for two, put yourself in scoring position. Oh. Missed with the fastball outside, 2-1. Hot shot towards the hole. Now the State Farm leaderboard gives us a look at who hit the highest average-wise last year. Here's a check out of Young. He's number five. Well, here's a guy that played at his peak performance last year, Gary. I mean, you talk about a guy who was tough to get out. He put the ball in play, made a lot of things happen for this ball club, and he had an outstanding season. Well, down by a run here, Gary. The man on first base can run. I'm looking to try to get him to second. Then you got a chance to have the go-ahead run in scoring position. They better keep him close. We'll see Canerco holding him in there. Mm, that's a good spot to miss, but it's a ball, one and two. One, two from Jenks. Line towards first, and Canerco makes the catch. With that, they keep the runners at first and third. Well, they needed that one. That's the first out. They need to try to limit the damage in this inning and hold on to that lead. The first pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive. And it gets down. And that's in. They're able to tie it up. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Oh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. In the batter's box, Santa Lamacchia. Definitely some clutch production we're seeing out of this lineup, Steve. Uh, Gary, we just saw quality at bat. They capitalized on the opportunity. And now an opportunity to pull ahead here in this game. So outstanding clutch hitting. Strike one, Jenks evens the count. And this is where all the errors and or, in this case, the positives really shine because you haven't got a lot of room left. You know, Gary, now if they can manufacture a run and take the lead, it could make all the difference and lead to a victory. Here's the pitch. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. 
Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Rung him up, strike three. Count that one as K. Well, when the pitcher hits his spots and he sets you up for this pitch, it makes it very difficult. He swung right over the top of it and just couldn't make contact. Over near third. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits and they leave a couple. We're all knotted up in Texas. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. The camera catches a look at Ron Washington. And at this point, every move is critical. He hasn't got any margin for error. Harden with a windup. Swings and grounds this one foul wide of third. Hit sharply towards the hole. From his knees, he got him. What a play! This is an acrobatic play worth another look to get that out. Well, look how quickly he gets to his knees. That's body control. Terrific effort. Here's the first pitch to Kotsay. And this is hit in the air. Foul down the left field line. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. And the 0-1 by Harden. Swing and a line drive. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. Coming well, he gets a letter-high pitch, a good Wilson. pitch to hit, and he takes advantage of it. Nice job. Hitting from behind is not an easy thing to do in this game, but a little easier when the pitch is up there. Now you throw it over the plate like that, it's going to cost you. First pitch to him. Hot shot towards the hole. The second, there's one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Well, quick release by the third baseman. They get the lead runner in second, just not able to turn the double play. Hit hard on the ground to short. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. We are still knotted up in Texas. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Guillen. Very tight game here in the ninth inning. He's doing everything he can to make sure they do not lose this game. They need extra innings to win it. And that's in there. Jenks ahead 0-1. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Here's the delivery. And he looks at a fastball in there, and it's one and two now. That swung on and hit. Quentin's going to play it. I mean, it's caught. There's a lot riding on Ian Kinsler's bat right here. You can see he's determined to come up big. Bottom half of the last inning, and you got to believe if you're standing there at the plate, you're thinking about ending it right here. Well, you know, there's clutch hitting, but there's also clutch pitching. The pitcher understands he has to get this guy out. Ball three there, so Kensler's got the count where he can take or take a big cut. The 3-0 pitch. Now Kensler, a 3-1 count. He can be selected. 0 for 3, lifetime off Jenks. And that one is going to be outside. And that is ball four. And now you've got a base steal run. He went with a fastball, the three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. First pitch on the way. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. I tell you what, the offensive team is really doing a good job right now. You never want your closer to throw over 30 pitches, but that's where they have him right now. Let's see if they can try to finish him off. Kinsler, here we go. And he is safe, just beating that throw.
One two from Jenks. And he watches that one travel down two and two. Well this is not what you expected when you brought your closer into this game laboring right now throwing over 30 pitches. I tell you what the outcome of this one might not be too good. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, in the late innings, now it's time for the managers to match wits to see who can best utilize his bench and his bullpen to win this game. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, wow, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Base hit, maybe two. Kensel's got a chance to come home. And game over. The winning run scores, and that's a wrap. Well, the hometown fans going home in celebratory fashion, Gary, as they win this one in the final inning, getting it done in an unbelievable game. Well, it's time here for the Pepsi Clutch performer. Just an exceptional job off the mound today from Rich Hart. Well, yeah, I agree. Complete games seem to be a dying art, but every now and again, someone tosses a gem like this one. What I like is that even though he wasn't perfect, his manager gave him the chance and showed enough confidence in him that he could get the job done and finish it off, and he did. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. No, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K Sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.